Hello, so here's a little walkthrough on some interesting thing you can do offline, right? So if you're pinging, I don't know, CNN, I am disconnected. It's not finding it. All right, so I disconnected my Wi-Fi, I disconnected my wired connection. I am offline and I've downloaded Olama so I can have installed it and I can run uh, let's say one of the dolphin models from the Llama 3 and there it is ready to run all right so I have here some Kazakh tourism news uh, from Kazakhstan and that's on the telegram channel and I'm following this because um, it's an interesting language uh, still using Cyrillic and I'm very curious as to when they will change well, here's actually them featured in Russian television, or at least in a television channel that's in Russian. Uh, but I have probably some of it here that might be um, in, uh, well, in Kazakh. Uh, not really sure. There's an announcement about Kazakh tourism. So I just drag and drop that right over here. Click to get the focus, hit enter, and off it goes. Now, in this case, it probably continued to rush to translate from Russian so maybe I need to say translate from Kazakh and I have no idea if that's the proper spelling there it is yay all right so you can do offline non cloud translations and understand what's going on here now this one here was actually I think not in Kazakh because when I translate this from Kazakh or as Kazakh uh, some parts did not translate just right no actually it's all good now so I don't know if it switches back and forth to Russian if it sees it or if it's really just very similar enough in this case the point is that you can have local on-premise translation with so many languages for free this, this is running locally on my laptop without any uh, subscription. Right? You go to um, olama.com, you install the program, then you find a model and uh, you start using it. Let's take a look at that. All right, so here I'm still not connected to the internet. Let me fix that in a second. Plug my wired connection back in. Wait for the signals identifying internet access let's do a refresh this is my vivaldi browser and here we go so i'm at oyama you simply download the uh, windows version or the linux version or the mac version and once you've downloaded it you can go and install it on even a different system if you downloaded the linux version but then you want to put it on a virtual machine or on a different system bare metal wherever you go right so you have this running and once you've got this running you need to choose a model for it to use you're not downloading it from here you're downloading it from the program but you need to know what to call it right and i'm gonna take a really small one here maybe uh, uh that's not that's how I mean that's not how big it is that's a big one here the R plus that's a hundred four billion I don't know B for billion tokens I imagine I'm not sure what it stands for it might be even more uh, but there are a number of uh, models to choose from some of them ooh, there's vision uh, visual and okay so there might be some OCR capability here maybe sign language who knows something for me to explore um, there is there are some models that are uh, less than a bit there the Quen, that one's pretty fast. Actually, I downloaded that already, so it's not going to need to re-download it unless there is an update. Let's see if there's one more that's half a B. We, can, we could simply search for that. Let me go to Control F for find and say 0 0.5 B. And there's got to be another. There's a Quen too. All right, I don't think I got this one yet. Oh, that one's got uh, Alibaba. This is large language models. Why not? Let's go with that. Now, remember, that's not the best quality. You have these and these and these. That's going to need a lot of RAM. That one I can handle, but it's maybe half an hour to download, 20, 20 minutes at least. This one here, probably 5 or 10. Let's see how that one goes. So it's a point, <coughs> or 0 0.5B for the Quen, uh, Quen 2. So all you do is you go to your tool here and you say Olama 
and there's there goes my short-term memory right to run uh, quen 2 colon and what was the size of it 0.5 B 0.5 B I don't know if it's case sensitive yeah maybe it is oh, this model doesn't exist it so it says that's fascinating disappointing let's try low case B well I'll be damned they actually show it wrong there's a bug here it shows capital B but it actually wants lowercase b well that's my nature I find bugs <laughs> I aim for just that alone all right enough babbling around 35 seconds so this is it right you got the program you are online to get it installed of course I mean you could download uh, some of these probably the models could be downloaded directly to a different system if you have to run it on another system that never goes on the internet that's a possibility I have not explored that yet as of this moment but I would be very surprised if you couldn't do that and once you have it downloaded it's in the repertoire you have it in the system with Olama running you can now start to use it and in fact I asked for it to run it right here so it's, it's just going to take the time to initially check whether it wants to download it initializing and boom it's now starting and so now it's ready for the first question and so at this point I can go and take my internet off disconnect from the wire and um, let's go do this control D I'm out and let's do um, what do we want to do well first just double check with that we are off the internet so that's a ping CNN and unable to reach that and that's not the worst news and uh, <laughs> pun intended on news of course all right so here we go let's go uh, Oriyama uh, run and if I only remember which one it is, right? So I'm gonna go, let's go list, hold on my list, and we have the new one here, Quen 2, 0.5b. Okay, so I'm gonna go, since I'm bad with typing or memorizing, I'm gonna copy that, and then go Orama, run, and the model, there it is. So now, it's, it's just ready, ready to translate. You have an offline translator. Right. So, how to use that? Well, for example, if you are reading something about Kazakhstan and the development of tourism, or something else, whatever it is. Now, some of it is already translated here, but let's say I have no idea what that says here. Let's go copy that, or just drag and drop it. Don't even need to copy paste it. And then get, get the keyboard focus, hit enter, and it's trying to do something. Well, let's see. Translate. Translate it. There you go. You know, you're talking to almost a human here and uh, pretty fast at switching languages and understanding what you probably meant. So, yeah, this is this is an interesting era, uh, whether you are a traditional linguist and uh, translator working on subtitles, working on uh, all sorts of legal material and you need to have it on premise, you need to have it off the internet, you're dealing with personally identifiable information it's all staying here with you it's not going out it's not going anywhere where it might infringe on gdpr and other things you can keep that machine offline and uh, it's there and nowhere else so i find this really exciting really good